I um, okay, let's just pull one card because I feel like it. The devil. A man should never be ashamed to own that he has been in the wrong, which is but saying that he is wiser today than yesterday. Jonathan Swift. Mrs. Lovers, Smoking, Detail from a Mural, by a Thai school, 19th century. Wat Kuman from Thailand. This is the writings on the wall. The foundation of this temptation to and might remind you of a scenario foundation of this is the tower reversed does not destroy me makes me stronger Frederick Nietzsche dreadful parachute drop Viola Spencer from the Petit Journal by unknown French artist 1910 private collection is a surprise out of, out of nowhere. Um, I did just do a reading and it didn't record as per the usual. So um, what came from that was the, um, the moon and the chariot. And we were looking for some sort of sturdy foundation base in the reading and it ended with the Four of Pentacles. So that's some information being withheld or something like that, or four being a sturdy base. So here we have 16 and 15. So that could be some sort of unplanned pregnancy type of thing. Two with the Temptation card and the Tower surprise. Um, it could be a, few, a lot of different things. It's just gaining some freedom, though, too. Um, being expelled from something, being shocked by something, being thrown off by something. Maybe you were just sort of like going about your business, doing your thing. She looks up to something both people do in the background. So... Um, maybe there's something going on behind your back and you're just sort of uh, finding out about it and it is surprising to you. Ten of Swords. The great virtue is the real courage to face the facts and live beyond them. D.H. Lawrence. Portrait of John James Howell. Poe. Detail by unknown English artist, 1820s, Library Museum of Freemasonry, London, UK. And lovers usually has to do with Gemini, and I did say something about Trump the other day. Um, of cups. A happy life is one in accordance with its own nature. Marcus Manus Seneca. This is Riding on a Strand by Frank P. Stone Lake, early 20th century, Bloomfield Sporting Gallery, London, UK. So I just thinking like visuals and I just had like 50 videos pop to mind but um, as far as this goes um, I feel like she's just free riding like in tandem or not in tandem but like in stride with uh, her puppy and um, even though she's riding like looks like she's riding side saddle but um, 
but she's going pretty fast, so she looks like she's having a great time. So maybe once she got like free of whatever it was she was like bound to, whatever she was doing, holding up her time, um, maybe now that she got free from that, she's able to just go riding on the beach and she's happy. So a happy life is one in accordance with its own nature. Maybe you need to get by the beach, get back into nature, get wherever you feel yourself. And this is the hermit. Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. Marcus Aurelius. And this is solitude, watching the heaven at the, at the, at the, at the, at sunset. And the hope of seeing a vessel, Tristan de Cunha, in the South Atlantic, by Augustus Earl, 1824, National Library of Australia, Canterbury, Australia. Yeah, I mean, all these people are on their own. It reminds me of Katy Perry's uh, Rise video that was in the Daily, um, or yeah, Daily Today and Me 52, and just being someone who probably doesn't, shouldn't be like <laughs> um, parachuting on their own. I mean, she looks like she's having a ton of trouble. So, um, this tower, something that is unexpected. They look like they're in their zone and they're just gonna, like, something could just, like, even if it's not soft shock or something like that, like, just surprise you. If you don't like surprises, beware. Otherwise, do you like surprises? I'm not really sure why you're wondering about the future here. But anyways, I hope that that was helpful and that you have a great Monday. Bye.